Hello and welcome to the course of HDL Digital Circuit Design. Today's topic is step by step guide for simulating 4 bit ALU supporting 16 operation in Verilog using Xilinx Vivado tool. Myself Shilpa Rudravar, Assistant Professor, School of ENTC Engineering, MIT Academy of Engineering, RD Pune. In previous section, previous section, we have seen how to write a code for 4 bit ALU supporting 16 operation. Uh, test bench for it. Now we'll be moving ahead the simulation part using Xilinx Vivado tool. So here you are able to see this particular part. What is LU? What operation it is going to support? On which operand it is performing? So it is performing operation on four bit operand A and B. This all the things related to Verilog code as well as the test bench we have seen in the previous uh, videos. So link of that will be shared in the description box. You can visit it. This is the simulation waveform we'll be getting in Vivado tool. So we'll be moving ahead with the tool. So you need to click on Xilinx Vivado 2014.4. Once you are clicking, you'll be able to see this particular window. You need to create your new project, give any name to the project here, project one. ALU is given, ALU1, which is created in D drive. Next, you need to click on RTL project. You can click or unclick over here, not an issue. Next, now here you need to select the board which you are having in your lab because ultimately we will be dumping our code into the hardware watch what we are having. So here whatever board you are having that you need to select product category you need to select all family RTX 7 which is the board available in our lab. So next RTX 7 only package CHG 324 that is 324 pins are there to that particular uh, IC dash 1 that is the speed grade and this is what is the device we are having. So as per your requirement as per device you are having you can select this particular um, board. Now over here at this moment if you are not selecting that there is no issue but for creating XDC that is the Xilinx design constraint file it is necessary for select this particular device. Till simulation there will not be any issue but after implementing uh, before implementing that into hardware you need to select that hardware. So next finish and once that has been done your project is getting created you are able to see this, this is the process window this is source window this is code window and this is the error window. So here under design sources you will be getting uh, your file created that is the uh, ALU, ALU Verilog code. Here in the constraint uh, folder you will be getting XDC file, Xilinx design constraint which is required for the hardware implementation and in the simulation sources you will be creating your test bench file. So add source you need to click on create design source because first you will be writing a code uh, for ALU in Verilog. So you need to click on create design source it will be linked to this particular folder after creating. Next, you need to create file, give the name, ALU, then OK, finished. Once that has been done, you can give A over here, which will be input and which will be of 4 bit and that's why you need to write here 3 is to 0. So once that has been done, you need to write B again in the same way, that is input, it's bus, again it is of three, uh, 4 bit. That's why 3 down to 0. Again, you need to write ALU underscore select which is bus and it is of 3 down to 0. And last one that is the ALU underscore out which is output and again it will be a 4 bit. So, 3 down to 0 and last one that will be having carry so C A R R Y whatever carry out something you have given in the code same way you need to follow so this is my single bit output that's why I am not clicking on the bus so ok and this particular code is getting created under this design sources once you are clicking you can write here your code here now for your um, purpose I have created already one Vivado file where I have written this code here which is I have already 
discuss uh, in the video. So here that code is written. Here you are able to see input is there, which is four bit. Again, input ALU select is four bit. Output is of four bit, and this is carry. And this code we have written, which is explained previously. Once that has been done, you need to save it. And if you are uh, able to see any error, you can remove that error. You will be able to see that particular errors over here. Once that has been done, now you need to click on your next thing that I'll be showing here. That you need to click on Add Sources and you need to click on Simulation Sources next and create file. Give the name TB ALU, whatever name you want to give. Okay and finish. Once that has been done. this particular simulation file is getting linked to this simulation sources now at this moment this is not linked because i want to create this test bench for this alu that is uut unit under test because this test bench will be generating stimulus for alu 1 and that's why i need to write it properly for linking this test bench with the alu at this moment there is no code written you need to write a code again same thing i have created this particular test bench for you uh, which is i have shown in the previous video so this is what is the test bench written so this is what is the test bench written now one thing you need to remember that whenever you are writing test bench over here over here you need to write this name of uut properly so as this test bench is linking to this uut if you are writing this name differently than this then it will not link to your main source file so suppose i am writing alu1 and i am saving that so you will be able to see that this is blank file is getting linked with the tb_alu because this particular code file is not available you have written only alu and that's why this name should be written properly so that your test bench will be getting linked with the unit under test that is the code you have written so once that has been done what you need to do you need to click on this alu main code and then you need to click on elaborated design once you are clicking over there you will be getting get level netlist over here so this is what is the structure is getting created for the code you have written in the get level so this uh, particular part is clear now once that has been done again click on project manager and now you need to click on test bench and click on run simulation so simulation file you will be getting so here whenever you are clicking on zoom fit you will be getting this simulation waveform now in this simulation waveform you are able to see this is a which is of 4 bit this is b which is of 4 bit alu select you can just expand it so this is alu select which is of 4 bit and alu out which is of again a 4 bit and carries of single bit so as i have told you in test bench we have given uh, a as a 10 and b as a Two. So here you are able to see for all the operations the same value of a and b is reflecting, and all the operations are taking place on these two operands only of same value. So ALU select is zero 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 zero. It will be performing addition operation. So you are able to see this is ten and this is two means addition will be twelve. Uh, so that's why one one zero zero addition is getting performed. For zero 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 one subtraction is going to perform. So 10 minus 2 that is 8 you are getting it over here over here multiplication is get taking place where you are able to see 4 bit value that is 0100 it will be actually 10 into 2 that is um, 20 but you will be getting over here one is not getting reflected because 4 bit value you have mentioned over here and that's why 0100 that is you are getting over here division you are getting so 10 divided by 2 that is 5 and same way you are able to see all the operations over here so in your notebook you need to create a truth table if i am giving this kind of input over here this is the operation it is going to perform so what kind of output will be getting that you need to identify previously before simulating and then you need to compare that result with this simulation result so that you will be getting yes whatever we are doing it is in same way so once that has been done the simulation part is done again now you need to create a bit file for that you need to create a constraint file that is xilinx design constraint and for that what you need to do 
over here whenever you are implementing that into hardware you need to follow certain steps so here i will be briefing so first thing verilog code whatever you have written previously that you want that you required then you need to create xdc file after that it will be generating bitstream file that is 01 file and over here you need to open the hardware manager you need to connect your device hardware whatever you are having to this particular lap laptop and then you need to program the device so here this particular board we are having in our lab nexus 4 ddr and these are the input pins that is the 16 inputs and these are the leds 16 outputs i am able to get so whatever output i'll be observing that will be observed on this led and whenever i am giving input i'll be applying it to this pins so over here it's uh, zoom over here and you are able to see this is the switch name is a pin number is v10 u11 u12 h6 likewise now in our case we require a which is of 4 bit b is of 4 bit so a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 and a of 3 so that way i will be requiring 4 bit of a so a is of 0 i'll be applying over here a of 1 over here a of 2 and a of 3 msb should be at the left hand side same way b of 3 b of 2 b of 1 and b of 0 and over here alu select of 3 alu select of 2 alu select of 1 and alu select of 0 i'll be applying here and output i'll be observing at this point point that is alu out of four, uh, 3 alu out of 2 alu out of 1 alu out of 0 and carry i'll be observing over here so moving ahead with the way we'll be creating our uh, xdc file so here you are able to see for the uh, simplicity purpose i have created this particular uh, screenshot where inputs are a and b which is of 4 bit so a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 a of 3 which is msb is over here lsb is over here again b b of 0 to b of 3 again msb is here and lsb is here this is alu select it is again an input so alu select of 3 to alu select of 1 uh, 0 it will be shown here and these are the board pins so you are able to see as this are the switches i need to apply this switch pin over here so v10 is given here u11 is given over here u12 is given here and s6 is given here same way t13 r16 u8 and t8 are the b pins and over here from r13 r18 t16 and r17 will be your alu select pins same way for observing the output you requires alu out 3 to alu out 0 so we have taken these four pins as a alu out and carry pin you will be giving over here so that is not shown in this screenshot so that you will be applying over here or you can take it over here to avoid the mixing so once that has been done what you need to do you need to create uh, click on this particular code after that you need to click on this elaborate design and over here select io planning now here you are able to see your device here you need to click on LV CMOS 33 that is low voltage CMOS. So all the pins you need to set to LV CMOS because it uh, this IO pins operates at 3.3 voltage. So here we are having a CMOS structure and that operates at 3.3 volt. So we have given ALU A, ALU out, ALU select and B pins over here as a LV CMOS 33. We are expanding this scalar port and here you are able to see carry out again we need to set it as a lv cmos 33 once that has been done you need to assign your pins over here that is you can change this to u13 u14 whatever pins we have assigned and once that has been done you will be able to see so here i'll purposefully i'll be applying i'll be applying this pin that is v10 so v10 i am giving over here and before giving this uh, pins over there i am just clicking on save give the file name as a alu or any name you can give and once that has been done project manager if you are clicking on project manager you are able to see under constraint there will be a ALU XDC file is getting created. So this is what LV CMOS we have 
assigned to all the pins that you are able to see. Now, as we have not assigned any pins to our input and outputs, so here also you can just copy paste this particular part. and you can change the pin assignment. So A3, A of 3, A of 2, A of 1 and A of 0. That way you can make the changes and here as per pin assignment I have shown you can give the pin name. Once that has been done again do the same procedure for B, ALU select and ALU out. So I am copy pasting this particular part over here Again, I will be making it as a B of 3, where B will be capital, again B of 2, B of 1 and B of 0. Again, you can change this pin number. Next, I will be copying this as a ALU select, which is my another input. Again, over here. AL is select again here and here. So L you select of 3, 2, 1, 0. Now you can assign this port over here as per requirement and after that again I am copy pasting this and I am writing ALU underscore out which is my output pin. So copy and paste. You can assign that pin at that structured part over there otherwise you can do like this. Once that has been done last is remaining that is what is carry. So I will be copying this particular part and I will be writing carry over here. So that is carry out. Whatever name you have given same way you need to write it properly and you can change this pin number as per pin number shown here. So A of 3 V10 then U11 so that way you can assign the thing. This is U11. Same way you can change pins over here. Once that has been done, you need to save it. Now at this moment, these are wrong. You need to change the pin accordingly. Once that has been done, click over here and click on generate bitstream file. So once you are clicking here, it will be creating your bitstream file. In the next video, we will be seeing how to connect your device and how to see the execution of your code on the hardware. So in this way we have completed this part of creating XDC file, creating your ALU Verilog code, uh, writing a trace bench, uh, getting uh, synthesis that get level netlist file. After that simulation we have seen and then we have seen how to write a XDC file. So in the coming session, we'll be moving ahead with the hardware implementation, how your code, uh, how your um, circuit will be uh, implemented in your Nexus board, which board we are having in the lab. So thank you and happy learning.